Sorry, I was just trying to make you laugh. It's my party, and there's only one rule at my parties. Oh yeah? And what's that? No party pooper is allowed. So spill it. Why do you look like somebody pissed in your cereal? Well, if you must know, I got fired today. Oh. What happened? Well, my dick face boss basically did his little elimination thing. You know, it could have happened to anybody, to be honest, but, you know, I just didn't think it would happen to me, but it happened, it seems to happen every other week. Kind so it just shit. sucks that it happened now? Yeah, I mean, I, I was hoping to buy an apartment around the end of the month or something, or try to find some place to stay other than my shithole right now. I mean, but now that plan's kind of, you know. Sorry, Kev. What are you gonna do? <sighs> Fuck if I know rain. <sighs> I'll probably figure most of this shit out tomorrow. For tonight, I just kind of want to wallow in my own self-pity and drink my problems away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Kevin, <laughs> sorry for cheesing on your conversation, but keep damn. You are weak shit. Just like this. Oh boy, I better get back to my party. The smell of bullshit is about to rise tenfold. Wait, no, wait. That is not bullshit she's smelling, man. She has a serious problem and it's coming from below the belt. Bro, what the fuck, man? What is it with you two and your mutual hatred for each other? The fuck if I know, man. I think she's still upset that I made a porno with her mother, mothers and lovers. <laughs> Oh shit, isn't that that one you posted on like literally every social media site you can think of? Yep. So remember when that shit was trending on Tumblr? Well, that problem I can't fix, but I can fix your problem. Alright, shoot, I'm all ears. Uh, yeah, so uh, you know my dad has properties, uh, places that he rents out, right? Oh, for sure. Uh, yeah, so he has this place, uh, it's vacant. If you're interested, I can show you around uh, later on this afternoon. You know what, dude? Fuck it. Let me sober up a little bit after this, and I'll take you up on that offer. Uh, I mean, fuck, what else do I have to lose at this point? Uh, your virginity?
up, man? What's going on, man? How you doing? Doing all right. Spineless? I'm um, all right. Spineless place all right? Uh, yeah, it wasn't that tough. All right. Uh, yeah, so this is it. Uh, something, uh, you'll be staying on the uh, Barnum apartment here on the duplex. All right. Uh, so, yeah, I saw you grabbing your head. Are you feeling all right? Yeah, I think it might just be my sinuses or allergies. You have that hat on too tight? Uh, I don't know, man. I got a big ass head. So. Are you sure I could call for an ambulance down the road here? <laughs> nah, man, I'm good. I don't think there's much a squad can do for a fucking headache. I'm sure once I get settled in, everything's gonna be all right. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, if anything, they could probably just give you a, like a pain pill or sinus pill. I used to pop them all the time, like back in high school, like I was going out of style. The uh, teammates, wrestling teammates, used to call it like a like a holocaust or something. It got pretty bad. But anyway, let me show you around. These kids can get a little noisy across the street. Ah, it's what Yeah, I mean, uh, it's pretty secure, pretty safe, but kids are playing football across the street. I don't want to worry about anything else, you know? Right. So, uh, 210, you're number one. Awesome sauce. Yeah, so that's the front bedroom. Uh, must have sucked for the guy running this place last because the door is literally only a foot away from the bedroom. But uh, evidently the dude didn't have any friends, no girlfriends, uh, probably no visitors at all, so. I mean, why wouldn't anybody want to visit him though? This is such a nice place. Yeah, you know, it is a nice place, but the, the dude Call himself this uh, paranormal investigator, like you see on the TV shows. Like he organizes uh, ghost hunts, and like well, he's actually in LA right now. Uh, he's, uh, he's trying to talk to the people that the Manson family killed. Jeez. Oh, yeah. See what I mean, though. Uh, but yeah, you like to read, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what well, this? I'm sure this guy has some books left over. So if you're a reader, I mean. Go for it. It's some paranormal activity, but I won't worry about it. You're a big dude. I guess. I just. I, I just feel weird, you know? Kicking it in some dude's house for two, three weeks while he's out of town. Something about that's just creepy to me. I won't worry about it, man. Uh, you're basically getting paid to live here. Uh, all you gotta do is make sure that no one's breaking in, touching the necromancer's Ouija board or whatever. Uh, all I ask of you is just to clean up after yourself and make sure you leave it the way you found it. Do we have a deal? Alright, just, are you sure the guy's okay with this? Yeah, you're good man. Uh, you know, my dad offers this service to everyone who rents from us, or at least the option of it. But you know, my dad's out of town and he's in Las Vegas for a business trip. Uh, you know, usually it would be him watching over the place. Uh, and he asked me if there's no way now that I want to do it. But I did let him know I was going to find somebody that I, that I personally trust and like to watch over the place. And who else but you, man? Oh, thanks, man. For what? It just means a lot to me that you trust me enough to stay in a total stranger's apartment. Uh, man, let me tell you something, Kevin. You were there for me when my mom died. And the one nice thing about being my father's son is that I could do something nice for my friends. And you know, it just means a lot to me, man. Thanks, bro. Hakuna Matata, buddy. The thing about it this way, you have two weeks to chill out and figure out what you want to do from here. But anyway, uh, let's finish up the tour and afterwards we could go get your stuff or at least everything that you'll need for the next two weeks. Sounds good. All right, follow me. This is the spare bedroom here. Uh, just so you know, there's a, there was a single mother who lived right upstairs here. She's no longer there. Uh, two toddlers, uh, three and five, boy and girl. Boy was the oldest, so they were just running around going crazy. Uh, the, the guy I was telling you about was always on the phone with my dad. It's like, those little shithead bastards always running around. I can't sleep at night. I actually tell you what, 
This wall needed to be redone. This is brand new drywall. It was a mess. Man, I think a dude wasn't a kid person. <laughs> no, no, like, like, I'm not even a kid person. I'm not a kid person either. I don't want any. I don't need any. Actually, I'll tell you a funny story. My ex girlfriend got pregnant. She had like a dozen kids just to get back at me for revenge. And of course, she tells me this when I'm drunk. I, I went out and got a freaking vasectomy. It oh my god. <laughs> uh, bullshit. Anyway, let me show you this. This is the. Okay, so here is the restroom. So we're going to be doing a lot of your pooping, your pissing, your bathing, throwing up whenever rain kisses you. I love how bathing is the least important on that list. You know me, dude. Just uh, spray some cologne on you and make sure you get some uh, deodorant next to the balls. But Don't give me that look. You're a smelly motherfucker, bitch. You got your own shower. Uh, get out of here, you monkey. Okay, so last room of the house. This is the kitchen. Kept a pretty good job keeping it up to date and pretty modern. Yeah, yeah it's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. You liking everything so far? Oh yeah, it looks, looks like it's going to be a comfortable spot to stay for the next Oh, uh, god damn it, Napa. You fucked up the sink again. My dad just put this in. Oh my god, it's it's foobar. What the fuck does foobar mean? Uh, it's something that you would call uh, rain's vagina. Foobar. Son of a bitch. We told that motherfucker three times, do not put food down the, the, the fucking this side. It's this side. All right, uh, hold on. Give me a second, man. I gotta send this to my dad. All right, camera. All right. Oh, by the way, uh, so you know, uh, you get uh, shitty cell phone service and uh, internet. Forget about internet. It's real dumb. Oh no, it's all good, man. I, I'm probably gonna have to do more than just sit around and just dick with my phone all day long. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Are you kidding me? This one, uh, this is his occult office. It's got some weird shit, voodoo dolls. Uh, that's the Reaper from Reapers Were Born. It's got a uh, Mardi Gras, Louisiana, New Orleans. It's got a. Uh, but anyway, it just means I'm getting the hell out of here. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck was that about? This is legitimately creepy. What the fuck is there a pentagram on this? Well, freeze me where you are. We are armed to cop. Uh, Jesus, not, bro, what you are you doing? Get the shit out of me.
Oh, uh, it was a skit that I was watching on the internet. It's called Quarantine Cops. Hey, anyway, what are you doing in here? I was just kind of. I told you this place is creepier than shit, man. How could I forget? Yo, what's up, man? What's up, man? Andrew Cutro, huh? I promise not to fuck your shit up too much, buddy. Cheers. Oh shit! Oops. <laughs> Can you bust a flow? How many years have you wrote? How many records are you on? How many records have you sold? Since you say you make it better Shut your fucking mouth and show me you can do it better Why'd you rap it? Four or nine Where you from? Four or nine Why'd you bang it? Four or nine Stand town Stand up Why'd you rap it? Four or nine Strong. Man. Oh, fuck. Hit.
<laughs> well played, buddy. You give me some weak ass bogus weed, and you try fucking with me while I'm drunk and I'm high. <laughs> Man, oh, these next two weeks are gonna be fun. Soon, my love. Very soon. Yeah? Yeah? Is that any way to answer your phone? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I kind of tied one off a little too hard last night. You went one toke over the line? Man, by a thousand. Feels like somebody took molten lava, poured it into a bag of dog shit, and stuffed it into my head. You know what I mean? Oh, that sounds fun. So does that mean you're not going to attend my pre-party get-together? Wait, you're having a Free party party? What the fuck are you talking about? Did I say party? No, I believe I said get together. Only the best of the best will be there, party goer wise. Aw, and you invited me? Absolutely, dear boy. Now with an invite like that, how can you not come or at least make an appearance? Oh well, damn, I'm kinda honor bound to attend now. <laughs> so that's an affirmative? Well, aye aye, Captain. <laughs> but no, on a serious note. I need to get out of this place. It's kind of creeping me out. I'll definitely be there by sundown. Awesome sauce. See ya. All right. See you in a bit. Bye-bye. Click. <laughs> That's some good gel. Look, sisters, looks like the lamb's leaving the pen. Poor little lamb. Doesn't even know what's coming, does he? Ugh, they never do. They just go on with their sad little lamb lives. Ugh, it's so tragic. I don't know. I think he's kind of cute. Lambs always are. It doesn't change the inevitability of their fates. Man, you old bags have no clue what you're talking about, do you? Oh, don't mind us. We are just a trio of crazy old women. Just you go about your business. Should we try to warn him? Oh, what's the point? It's all been foretold. Yes, the sleeper will awaken, blood will spill. There's nothing we can do to stop that. Besides, I've got to take the grandkids on an Easter egg hunt tomorrow. I'm afraid that lamb's on his own. <laughs>
and I'm losing it. Who the hell are you? How do I find you? Fuck. Where the hell are you? You're going to hell. I mean, probably. We're all going to hell. There's special places there for all three of us. Exactly. Cheers to that. I, I don't know. Okay, okay, cheers. Hey, wake up, sleepyhead. What? Come on. Shit, man, I'm sorry. You're I'm supposed so to be providing an interesting conversation. Man, I'm sorry. I, I must have dozed off. I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. Plus, it kind of seemed like you were, I don't know, more interested in macking it up with the chat over there. Ooh, jealousy. Jeez, man, between you and chat, with all the salt in the air, I'm going to have a heart attack. You two should just whip your dicks out and battle it. Actually, yeah, do that. I'd love to see that. It's not like that, Rain. But on a real note, I just think you deserve so much better than Chad. Oh, I agree. Even though I encourage his advances because it kind of puffs up my ego, Chet's not my type. Oh, fuck. Well, that's good to know, at least. Yeah, but enough about my love life. You said you didn't sleep well last night. What happened? Sleeping in a strange place anxiety? Not exactly. There's just a lot of weird shit going on in that apartment. I've been having some really fucking terrifying dreams, too. You know, at first I thought it was all just Brian fucking with me, but now I'm not so sure. So sure about what? Mother, this is an A and B conversation. <laughs> and see your way out? Where'd you come up with that? I'm Rain's mother, by the way. And I am the owner of this beautiful abode. Co-holder. We're sharing the apartment, remember? Speaking of apartments, I heard you're staying at the old Dalco house. Well, it used to be a house. It's an apartment now, right? Yeah, I'm just kind of be house sitting for a few weeks. Yeah, that house has been around for a very long time. A couple hundred years. Really? And in fact, you know what? It's been a hundred years almost today that some guy went crazy and killed his whole family down in the, the bottom apartment. You're fucking with me, right? No, it was like this huge whole uh, ordeal. I'm a history buff, so, you know, I look into stuff like that. Oh, fuck. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just... I just need to lay down for a little bit. Are you sure you can stay in one of the bedrooms until you feel better? No, Rain, it's cool. I just need to lay down for a little bit. I'll give you some kind of phone call or something tomorrow, alright? Just take care, have fun. What the fuck, bro? Dude, seriously, just get out of my way. Sorry, talking to my girl all night, man. We're fucked up with that. Chat, let him by. First of all, she's not a girl. Second of all, move. I'm not feeling great. Oh, yeah. what, pussy? Hey! Hey! No fighting! I want my security deposit back. What you gonna do about it? What, you son of a bitch? Hey! hey. I'll snap your fucking neck and no one would ever miss your pathetic ass. Kevin! Move. Hey, no! Fuck you, Chad! All right, party's over. Everyone out, especially you, jackass. The hell did I do?
<laughs> this guy studies the dead. Really, I bet that shit's fake. I'm a demon, I'm possessed, I'm a zombie. Ugh. Fucking stupid shit. My name is Ariana Riordan. And I think it's high time we had ourselves a little chat. What the f Where the hell am I? I figured this might be better for what I had to say. I had to wait a hundred thousand years to say my piece, so I figured I'd best make it count. Who the hell are you? Where the hell are we? This was my home. 200 years ago. Purchased fair and square despite me being a woman. I came here from Ireland to escape oppression. I'm a witch, you see. Practitioner of the dark arts. But I never hurt anyone. Never bothered anyone. Till one day, some brats saw me practicing my magic. And you can kind of guess the rest. Oh my god. That all makes sense. Right before they lopped off my head and buried it in the backyard of this house that we were just standing in, I vowed my revenge on the people of this town. Every 100 years I get my chance. Which brings me to you, Kevin. Dude, are you... are you gonna kill me? <laughs> no, lad. I have something entirely different in mind for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, this Brian Russo? Uh, yeah. Who's this? Andrew Cutro. Who? The guy whose apartment you're letting some asshole run around in, idiot. What? It's a service my dad offers for everybody that runs through us. I know that. I specifically told your dad that I am not interested in that service. Look. It's not important. The important thing is that I want you to get who's ever in there out right now. You understand? Hey, look, I'm sorry I let my friend in your apartment. Uh, you know, my dad's out of town. Uh, just, look, man, I'm just trying to do what my dad would do for one of his runners. Well, you might have just killed your friend, idiot. What do you mean? My apartment is haunted by a ghost of a witch that caused some guy to go nuts and kill himself as well as his family. And I have every reason to believe that the same thing is going to happen tonight. That's why I rented out the apartment, as well as I took off to LA for that same particular reason. Her power to directly affect things will only last one day. But, I didn't count on some dumbass to let his buddy crash there on that same day. I was really hoping the apartment would be empty. Ah, uh, shit. Ma, well, what do we do now? You? You're gonna eat avocado toast, or whatever you rich brats do nowadays, but for myself, I'm going to take the first flight back and hopefully stop this disaster from happening. Yeah, hey, uh, let me let me call you back. Someone's at the someone's at the door. Wait, 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 wait! Don't hang up. Shut up, douche. Shit! Fuck a little. Fuck. Oh shit. What are you doing? You're not here to yell at me again, are you? I'm here to talk about Kevin. He was acting really weird last night. What the hell's up with your hair? Are those the color for the mentally disabled? Listen, fuckface. You didn't close the door. I'm the fuckface. I got drunk last night, okay? It happens. Oh yeah, okay. Stupid. What? First off, let's get one thing straight. I don't like you, Brian. I've never liked you. You're a drunk, rich boy fuckwad. But you're good friends with Kevin, and God knows why, but I think there's something seriously wrong with him. Yeah, the tenant just called me, uh, said something about some ghost being in this apartment. Might be after Kevin or something. Shit, I, I don't know. What? Uh, well, it cost this guy to kill himself a hundred years ago or something, two hundred years ago. I don't know, I wasn't really listening. I heard about that. My mom was trying to talk to him about it last night, and it's when he wigged out. Oh no. It goes straight to voicemail, I got nothing. And hold on, let me try and call on the... Probably doesn't mean anything. The cell phone service over there is shittier than your sex life. Alright. Pick up. Shit. Write the voicemail too. Damn it. Well, don't you think we need to go over there and check on him or something? Fine. 
Let me get my keys. <laughs> I don't think so, Hangover King. I'm driving. Let's go. Can I bring my coffee? No! Shit. Oh, god damn it. Nap, I got it all over the counter. It's like every light in the house is on. I'd hate to see who the person actually lives here's electricity bill is. Don't even remind me. Kevin! You stupid fuck! He's gotta pay the electric bill! Speaking of shits, maybe he's uh maybe he's taking one. I'll go like the restaurant right here. I'm coming with you. Let's see. Stupid door! Well, he's not in here masturbating. Well, don't worry about it, he's not thinking about you, you're ugly. Eat shit and die, Brian. Uh, you know, well, I'll leave the eating shit to you. This room is empty, just like your soul. Yeah, you would like to, huh? Cuntar? Get it? Cunt centaur? Yeah. Why do you have to be a dick all the time? Hey, give me, give me the fucking shit. I don't want to flash like, damn it. It's a good idea. Oh, damn it. Okay, I say we use these to get the hell out of here. Oh my god, Brian! Boys, get back up! Ray! Ray! You? Hey! Uh, you're on my hand! Kevin, get off my hand! Kevin! This is only the beginning. You'll be my weapon of revenge. With this, we become one. Kill for me, Kevin. Kill for me, Kevin. Thank you. 
Stupid ass kid. You should have listened. Fuck! Andrew? Andrew Cutro? <sighs> Look, if you're another cop, I will come down for questioning as soon as I finish scrubbing this blood and brain matter off my fucking carpet. I'm no cop. However, I do have one of these. 
So I think it's time we had a little discussion about what happened to my daughter. Oh, crap in the hat. You're serious, aren't you? Care to find out how serious? Spare me the tough talk. I'll tell you everything that you need to know. And for the record, you're not going to need that. So what you're saying, that a witch that was murdered in this apartment 200 years ago possessed Kevin and turned him into her personal assassin? Well, that's about the long and short of it. I thought I could deny Oriana the chance of her taking over somebody by not being here. But Mr. Dumbass left this Kevin crash here and then, and then shit happens, you know? Fuck. Considering this is what happened, what are we going to do to stop the witch from getting what she wants? Well, what do we do? We're doing it. I hate to tell you, lady. My name is Francine. Fine, Francine. Well, I hate to tell you, Francine, but Oriana already got what she wanted. I messed up. I thought I was one step ahead of her, but apparently she was three steps ahead of me this whole fucking time. So the only thing that we can do is draw on our sorrows with our good buddies here, Jack and Jose. And that, you know what? Speaking of which, salute. <coughs> oh, bullshit. You, Mr. Cutro, Mr. Paranormal Expert, I've seen you on TV. You always have some kind of ace up your sleeve and everything works out the way it needs to be. Yeah, but that's on TV. When you get your exploits scripted and planned out, you can make your shit come out however you want. So you're a phony. No, I'm a legit paranormal expert. You're probably expecting some John Constantine shit or something. But in reality, what I know about magic is what I read in books or seen in movies. Otherwise, I would have already gotten rid of that bitch. Fine, fine. But what about Kevin? What about him? Well, from what you're saying, the witch has a an enchantment on him, making him tougher and stronger. But he's not invincible. We can we can get to him and take him out, and the witch's plot will be undone. <laughs> you know what? You make it sound so easy. How about this? Let's just go get this Michael Myers motherfucker wannabe with our two little pop guns, okay? But first, you know what we need to do? First, we have to wait until he starts killing people and leaving trails behind for us to find. And then what? What are we gonna do? What the hell are we gonna do when we find him? Mr. Cutro, I just had to identify my daughter's body a few hours ago. She's all I had and now she's dead. Do you think I care what's going to happen when we find him. I, for one, am going to put a bullet in his head. And if that doesn't stop him, if that doesn't stop all this, then whatever happens to me is pretty meaningless. But you know what? At least I can say I tried. Which is more than I can say about you. Now, if you excuse me. Wait. Wait. I might know somebody that we can talk to, um, put us on the right track before the body count gets any higher. But what we need to do first is sober up because I'm pretty fucked up right now. You lightweight. I'll go make us some coffee. Now, my love, save your strength. You'll need it for the task I have for you. So what is that for? What are you doing? We're going to the back. Okay? Yeah.
Hmm. I must say, jelly beans are one of the finest inventions ever made by humankind. So good. You want one? No, I'm good. Thank you. Ever since I found out where the shells get their shine. You're gonna tell me, aren't you? <laughs> it comes from the secretions of the female lap bug. That's what you get for ruining my enjoyment with your inane babble. I was trying to read about serial killers. I'd rather not hear about whatever you're trying to stuff your face with at the moment. You bitch. Yeah, bring it, buttercup. What's going on in here? Just your typical sisterly love. Your bag of dicks, Athena. Whatever it is, it best stop right now. We're about to have visitors, so get your game faces on, ladies. I hate how she's always able to do that. Well, hello, Mr. Kudrow. I must admit, I expected to see you a few hours ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sense my arrival because of the prophecy and all that? Look, let's cut to the mystical, magical bullshit. I need some answers. I'm not sure how many I'm going to be able to give you, but come away in. We'll talk. Where are my manners? I'm Helena Decora. My sisters Allegra and Athena are in the living room. I'm Francine, and while I appreciate the pleasantries, we're here for some answers. I understand, and I'm also not sure how much Mr. Cutro has told you about us. <sighs> well, enough that you might be able to help us with it. Yeah, like you neglected to do in the first place. And please spare me the we're not allowed to interfere in a prophesized events bullshit speech. I heard it all before, and to me that sounds like a big pile of horseshit. It's just you ducking your responsibilities as a realm's protecting tri-goddess, yaggity yag, don't come back, or whatever the hell. Look here, listen lad, I have tolerated you running your mouth in my house long enough only because I feel responsible at letting the Oriana prophecy play out. Part of our being this realm's mystical, magical protectors is respecting the prophecy and respecting the balance between good and evil and realizing that sometimes evil has to win to preserve the balance. Perhaps Mr. Cutro is being so crass because he feels responsible for allowing the prophecy to play out. Oh yeah, well you can call and kiss my ass and quit dancing on my questions. I want to know who Oriana's going to send that kid after next and I want to know now. Ooh, he's forceful. Can we keep him as a pet? Mr. Cutro, we would love to give you that information but quite honestly we don't know. I have my suspicions, but Oriana's magic is clouding her vision, so we cannot see her handiwork firsthand. Please, what are those suspicions? I have a personal interest. Can you at least point us in the right direction? Fine. The man you need to speak to is Hunter Kincaid. Oh, jeez. That conspiracy nut? He's more than that and you know it. He also has psychic abilities and those abilities just might be able to get you the answers that our magics can't give you. I can get you an address if you like. Nah. Eh. You know this isn't going to end well, right? Does it ever? So, uh, before we go in there, are you going to tell me why you hate this guy so much? Not really, but if it makes you feel more at ease, he was a major part of the Sandusky paranormal scene. He was kind of like my teacher, my mentor, but um, we kind of split due to the philosophy of making money off of it. Let me guess. You were for money and he was against. Well, that's pretty much it. I went off to do my thing while Hunter, he kind of went um, full tinfoil hat conspiracy theory guy. 
not even plausible causes, just a bunch of crazy shit. How silly. Well, let's just put it this way. He was convinced that Steve Gutenberg was a communist spy. And the Police Academy movies was a top secret plot from the KGB to ruin the minds of the American youth. It started getting real paranoid and then, then uh, start living like a hermit. So that's why we got to drive all the way to BFE to talk to him. Hopefully he has information we need. Let's go, come on. I got all day. Are you sure we should be on this guy's porch? Don't worry about it. We're here. Let's take. Let's see what happens. Okay. Let's, okay. let's just go with it. I'm gonna right? be behind you just oh in case. Just calm down. Just calm down. All right. Or, Jeez. Um, Who are you? What do you want? Are you W-I-C-I-A? No, none of that. We're here to see Hunter. We go way back. What's your name? Andrew Kutra. Son of a bitch, you see that shit? Don't take it so personally. I'm sure he'll be back. Well, that's easy for you to say. I got a hangover that could kill Keith Richards. <laughs> Whose fault is that, mister? Let's have a drink and talk about what's going on. Did you know you were drinking with a party expert? Regardless who started it, I got a bitch of a headache, and I'm not in the mood to get a door slammed in my face. What? Do you want to run your invitation? Come on in. Yeah, sure. What the hell? It's time, my love. There are three families in this town whose family trees could use a little pruning, if you get my drift. Excuse me, ma'am, do you have any change? Get a job, bum. <sighs> Can you spare some change? You stay here. Can I sit over Sarah, here? Sarah, whatever. Okay. You see any good movies lately? Uh, I don't know who you are. Well, well, well. Didn't expect to see you outside of your terrible commercial. It's been a long time, Hunter. Not long enough, jerk. Your shit talking has cost me everything over the years. Hunter Kincaid thinks Judge Reinhold is a communist spy. It was Steve Gutenberg. Eh, I never liked that guy anyway. Reminds me of you, a smart little prick. Uh, yeah, that's great. As much as I like to sit here all night and take abuse, I need some information. Hold on, I got it. So there's this big witch, she takes over some poor schlub, he is some powerful psycho killer now, and you're on his trail, so you're coming to me to tell you where to find him next. Wow, I forgot how convenient, yet annoying, it is to talk to a psychic. 
Well, to be fair, Helena called ahead of time and let me know what you were coming over about. At least she was useful for something. I wouldn't talk that way about the sisters. They know more about the hidden world than you and I will ever find out. Yeah, I heard about the legends, but all this banter is taking us away from the main question. Will you help me find this guy? I really don't want to do this. And considering everything you put me through, I shouldn't do it. But for the sake of that lady out there with the dead kid, I'll give it a try. God, I hate this. We open on a wide shot of a house in a middle-class suburban neighborhood. A dark figure steps into the shot. We see him watching the house. We cut to a close-up of his knife, which has the dried residue of the blood from his earlier victims. After watching the house for a moment, he notices that most of the movement seems to be happening in the dining room kitchen area. So he walks around the house to find a window to peer through, to see how many potential victims he has waiting for him. We cut inside the house as we see the back door handle, which has stupidly been kept unlocked, slowly turn. Betsy, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, Brandon. It was too good of a moment to resist. How's the script? Well, I'm up to the part where the killer is about to start taking out married couples at a swingers party. In fact, that's what the title of the script is called. Swingers Party's Massacre. What do you think? A terribly original. Well, it's a take on the classic slasher movie titles. I got it. How about Polypocalypse? How about no? Why do you want to do a slasher movie with old, middle-aged, married couples bored with their sex lives? Hey, hey, no, 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 no. They're hot middle-aged married couples that are bored with their sex lives. You know, I wonder if I can get the actors and actresses from Skinamax to be my cast. Yeah, that way you can have a lot of unrealistic, slow-motion love scenes with bad sax music before the killings start. Saves me time having to come up with dialogue. Speaking of which, I'm starving. Did mom leave the corned beef out or is it in the fridge? In the fridge. She covered it up good though. Footage, alright. Get back to the killing in a minute. Whatever. Whatever you. What a pot of neck bones it is! Mm -hmm. Alright. Now we play the waiting game. I'm bored. <laughs> oh, that's actually hilarious. Betsy? Yo, fuck not! Quit being a turd! Yeah, Betsy, Betsy, Betsy! Betsy, come on! What are you doing? Oh, what is all this stuff? Are you trying to be Carrie now? Come on, wake up. This isn't the time to be joking. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? You! Oh, shit! Ah! <laughs> 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 
why I hate doing that. Oh! I've touched a lot of psychos, and I know you think this is a good talent, but this guy is like touching the void. There's nothing there but directions. It's left, right, stab. Stab again. How much did you find out? Enough. Enough to know he's being controlled entirely by the witch, Oriana. She's using him in a blood feud against the families that killed her. He's after all the descendants. Sam Goldsmith is next. The descendants of Sam Goldsmith. Yes! There's one Goldsmith in town. Now if I leave now, I might beat him there. Are you sure you want to do that? What are you saying? I know that you feel responsible for Francine's daughter's death. But the truth of it is, the cops are going to find this guy. They're going to kill this guy. And then she's going to be powerless for another hundred years. So why are you playing the hero? The cops catching him is a big if. How do I know I'm not next on the list? Or you? Perhaps she already sent your presence and wants you off the board. I got to stop this now. Thank you, Hunter. You've always been a miserable bastard. But, um, for what it's worth... I'm sorry for using you to get myself over. Yeah, yeah. I tell you not to bother coming back, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. Hey, come on. You got Trace on you know who. Let's go. Hey, nice meeting you, Winslow. Hey, and you know what? Don't let Hunter make you do all the damage. Okay. All right. Bye. You okay, Winslow? We need to put this place into lockdown mode, too. The government? No, something far worse. Well, maybe not far worse. Great. That's just great. He might still be in here. No, he's not in the house. Do you know how I know that? Because he got us, okay? They know we're trying to find him. They're always one step ahead of us. It's bullshit. Let's just go back to uh, Hunter Kincaid and get a list of people that she might be after and go that way. He's not going to help us. We used up our one-time favor. I think, I think I can get him to do it through Winslow. We hit it off. You know what? You want to do this? Then knock yourself out. I know when I'm beat. And I am beat. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go home. 
drink the remains of Mr. Psycho Killer's booze, and pass the fuck out. How's that, Happy Crappy? What? You're just gonna give up after a couple setbacks? Let the cops handle this. It's not our job. Hunter was right. He warned me back at his place. He was absolutely right. We are way out of our league on this one, Francine. What's the cops gonna do against a powerful witch? Better than us. Besides, they'll be facing Kevin, and once they take him out, the shit will be done, and the spell will be broken. Fine. You're right. Uh, I thought going half-cocked for revenge after I found Rain was a really great idea. But, you're right. Being on the research side of things sounds like a pretty good idea. And then we'll just let somebody else take care of Kevin. Absolutely! Research! That's great! So let's get the hell out of here. We can do all that back at my place with alcohol. Okay, let's go. I think I've forgotten about you. You really think you're something great, Mr. Paranormal Expert. You were outdone by a wee lash we killed there. That's what I like to hear. That was the reason you were chasing your tails this whole time. Sea stone witches. Your psychics. They were all useless against me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fooled me this whole time. But, uh... Go ahead and kill me now, cuz I got places to go. Such fun. Kevin. <laughs> 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 That's what you get for killing my daughter, you asshole. The unforeseen factor. The unaccounted for element. That's you, Francine. But, but, killing Kevin was supposed to end this. Normally that would be it. However, my beloved Kevin, he's brought me so many souls seems to have enhanced my power a little bit. Enough that I can do this. Out of sorts. 
Have we met before? And in manner of speaking, yes. You're Francine, right? Yeah. I am Francine. I'm sorry. It's been such a long time since I've experienced this. Yeah, I, I must imagine it must be very confusing for you. But, but you'll get the hang of it soon. Yeah, I will be fine. Tell your sisters I said hi. This will definitely work. After all, I do have a few miles to go before I sleep. Dead. I'm resurrected from 